Hey there, what's up? This is Santi. Welcome. Uh, good to have you here. How's it going? What's up? <laughs> okay, that's enough. <laughs> how's it going? Today I'm going to teach you how to... <laughs> been recording this intro too many times, but anyway, we're going to stick with that. So today I'm going to teach you how to better deal with images in Obsidian, okay? Obsidian deals with images in a really nice way, but there's one problem, which is storage. When you have too many images in your vault in Obsidian, it's going to start getting cluttered. It's going to, well, more than anything, it's going to start maxing out the capability you can store easily in one folder, right? Because if you're using something like Dropbox, maybe the free trial, and you have only the two gigabytes limitation, you're going to max that out quickly. Or even if you're going for Obsidian Sync, which is the paid service of Obsidian, there's still a limitation of four gigabytes, which is not that limited, but... I don't like having that constraint. So today I'm gonna to teach you how to best deal with that. So let me show you right now what you normally do when you deal with images in Obsidian so that I can recommend a much better way and a couple of solutions that might actually help you a lot, okay? So with that said, let's go here to Obsidian and let's say we are studying camera movements and we have a diagram that we nicely found in Google and it's this one right here. So we're just gonna copy this and now we're gonna paste it in Obsidian. And this is what it looks like. And it's not a bad solution, you know, because what it does is that it's pasting the image and it's storing it in the attachments folder. Now, if you don't know how to do any of that and you want to maybe like get good at the fundamentals of Obsidian, I do recommend that you check out my Obsidian online course is the best way that you can support this channel. It means a lot to me and more than anything is going to help you. If you feel like you're still a beginner or maybe some of the things that I'll be sharing with you right now or in general, just like normal use of Obsidian, you're still struggling with some of that. Do check out my course. It's going to be the best way you can learn the fundamentals of Obsidian. And at the same time, you support my work and you help me make more content on Obsidian. So do check it out. I do have another video on how to deal with images, how to create an attachment folder if that's the way that you want to go because the solution that I'm going to teach you today is really going to be a combination. Like sometimes it's better to do it this way, sometimes it's better to do it the, the built-in normal way that I'm showing you right now, okay? So with that said, let's get back to the video. So what's happening here is that the image got pasted and if we go to preview mode, you can see that the image is actually there. But what's really going on is that this image is called pasted image, which I can always change the name, which I really like. But also if we just reveal where it's at, it's gonna be taking up space in our attachment folder, which is right here. So we have an attachment folder and that folder contains all the images that we've used. And if it's a pasted image, it's just gonna be called pasted. You can always rename it here, which is really useful. But the problem again is that you are consuming space in your storage of your notes. And again, if you want to make this like, a, you know, long term, if you just want to be able to take your notes with you on different like, you know, something like Dropbox, you want to use it in several computers, you want to be able to do quick backups, it's better to have it lightweight. And text is really lightweight. Like I have so many written texts in my vault in Obsidian, but it's so lightweight it's still. Like I'm still using sometimes the Dropbox limitation of two gigabytes. I'm still using Obsidian Sync without any problems. And it's just really good idea to keep your notes really lightweight so that you don't have to worry too much about storage, right? So with that said, I'm gonna teach you a uh, couple of ways in which you can optimize this, make it a lot better using a service that I'm gonna show you right now, which is free. It's called, actually, let me show you because then pronunciation is impossible. Is this thing right here called, I'm gonna call it Imgur because that's just how I've been calling it, but it's imgur.com. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. You can check it out. And yeah, tons of people pronounce it different ways. Some people say Imgur, some people say Imagur. I don't even know, so I just call it Imgur. So yeah, if I'm wrong, please correct me, but yeah, that's how I call it. So now what you need to do for the two of the methods that I'm gonna show you is you're gonna have to create an account in here. Now, what is this? This is an image hosting service, which is free. You can use it. I use it personally for writing blog posts and sharing images quickly on the internet without having to store them on my website necessarily. It's a very versatile way to share images online, which sometimes is tricky. And this is gonna really like help you in tons of ways, but for your obsidian know it's going to become really really useful so first thing that we're going to do with the first method is going up here and we're going to go to images okay so in images is here's where you have everything stored as you can see i have a lot of screenshots right here and for instance i just have like an example right here and if we just take this image or let's just even take like another let me see okay this one's cool so let's copy this one right here 
and I'm gonna paste it, right? And right now it's loading, when image is loading, and here it is. So when you open this, you're gonna have a couple of different like ways in which you can embed this in a website or in your Markdown files. Like the one that is recommended for Reddit is the same that we're gonna be using. So use HTML for websites, for instance, if you're doing that, but of course in Obsidian, we're gonna be needing the Markdown link. So I'm gonna copy that right now. And I'm gonna paste it here. And as you can see, what it does is that it links it links us to that image online. So if I open this link online, we're just going to see the image. And what it does, it just gives us this little context that it comes from Inger. And yeah, if we go on preview mode, that is not going to work yet because unfortunately it doesn't come with exclamation mark that we need to make it work. So this little exclamation mark allows Markdown to tell that this is an image. So now if you go on preview mode, that should work. And that works great. And this whole method is really useful and I really recommend it, especially again, if you, this is something that you want to reshare easily and you want to have it on blog posts, but you also want to be able to organize it directly on imgur.com where you can create albums and organize things. Like this method works, it's really good. But I'm gonna show you something really cool that is pr probably gonna be a better solution. It really depends on your needs, but it's good to have these different options, okay? So with that said, let me show you this method. All right, so let's go back to the previous image that we were trying it with, just for a bit of variety, and here we go. So copy image, we go back to Obsidian, and right now I activated I activated the, um, a community plugin that is gonna allow us to do this, okay? I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it in a second. Just know that right now it's activated and it's working, and if I just simply paste it with uh, Control V, it's gonna load it, and now our image is loaded in Imgur the same way, but it was a lot quicker, you know, and it works. I didn't, the advantages of this method is that I didn't really need to log into imgur.com. I didn't need to create an album or just paste it in there, then open that image, copy the markdown, paste it back in Obsidian, put the exclamation mark. This was direct. So it's really the best of both worlds. It's, it's definitely similar to the way in which Obsidian deals with an image that you paste, but without adding it to your attachments. So this is not consuming any space in your nodes. And I think it's an amazing solution. Now there's definitely gonna be some pros and cons to this because this is what is called an anonymous upload, meaning that this doesn't necessarily go straight into your album in Imgur, which is a bit frustrating. Hopefully that's something that can be done. I've definitely talked to the creator of this and we we're talking about like, why that'd be a great idea. But right now the way it works is an anonymous upload. So this is unfortunately not gonna be stored in your Imgur album. But it's still a great solution, especially if you're just dealing with a couple of images that you quickly want to just put in your notes. So yeah, it's a great solution. And right now I'm gonna teach you how to set it all up because it has just one little tricky step, but don't worry, I'm gonna walk you through it. And yeah, let's get to it. All right, so first you need to go to the settings down here in Obsidian. You need to go to community plugins where you can browse it and it's called Imgur plugin. Simple as that, you just install it easy like any other plugin in Obsidian and now you're gonna have a little, well, well, first you need to activate it in here and you turn it on just to make sure that it's working and so once it's on, you're gonna have this window down here that allows you to set it up. So as you can see, it has it has is asking you for a client ID, which is not that tricky to set up. I'm gonna show you right now. Now, the first thing that you need to make sure you do is you need to create your Imgur account, right? This is how it works and you just need to do it even for this method. But either way, it's a, it's a good and beneficial thing to do. It's free and it's, it just works, it's great. So you open this and this is gonna take you to this page where you can just write Obsidian in here and then you need to make sure you click on the second option, okay? This is the one that we need. So just make sure you select that one and yeah, that's gonna allow it to work. In here, you just need to optionally put an email. Again, like this might not even be needed. I just, you can put it just in case and then fill one of these, I'm not a robot, annoying things. And yeah, make a couple mistakes and then do it again. <laughs> and there you go. So once that is loaded, well, once that is ready, just submit it. And after you submit, here you go. So you're gonna have here everything that you need. So right now I just blurred out my real numbers just because this is uh, you know confidential, you shouldn't share it. So right now in here, I just put a ton of little X's and stuff. Um, so yeah, you're just gonna have numbers and letters in here. And the one that you need is this one right here, client ID, which you can just select it and you know grab it from there. This is gonna be a real combination for you and you just paste it in there and there you go. Okay, so once that is working, Everything should be set up. Of course, make sure that it's a real number. 
oops, wrong screen. There you go. And now you can just start pasting images just like this. And you're going to be able to just quickly select images from the internet, paste them, and there you have them. If you go to preview mode, you can see that it works and it's super efficient. It works great. And yeah, thank you so much for the creator of this. It creates a really nice workflow in which you can just deal with images super quickly without having to worry about storage. This is going to be super compatible across different devices. This link is going to work anywhere on the internet or even in other applications. You can just paste this exact same anonymous link and it's going to work in any place that you need it. Now, again, a couple of pros and cons. If you use this method with the plugin, it's a bit tricky to be able to, you know, like organize that somewhere. You won't have it in your Imgur account and you won't be able to quickly organize it in albums or even just have it as a backup in there. Again, this is very reliable. I was talking to the creator. He was telling me how it's a very reliable way, like Imgur promises that it's going to be unlimited. Maybe, you know, it might, the, the image, the particular image link might, might expire in like something like 10 years, right? Only if you don't access it every now and again. So again, like what he was saying was like, if you don't access it in 10 years, you probably don't need it. So again, keep that in mind. It really depends on your needs. If you want to do things the normal way that Obsidian just puts it in your attachment folder, then that's fine. Maybe that method works for you because you maybe have tons of storage and you don't have to worry about that. Uh, but again, if storage is a bit of an issue, if you don't want to max out maybe something like Dropbox or any other service that you're using, you don't want to clutter it with too much, you know, too, too heavy files. Um, you know, it's a great way to just deal with images really quickly. Now, if you want something a bit more permanent and something that you can have quick backups on, then just use Imgur and create an album and then paste that in there. That's what I do for my blog, po blog post, which I think works great. But yeah, those are some of the pros and the cons and stuff. So yeah, let me know if you found this helpful. Let me know if you have any other requests for maybe plugins in Obsidian that you want me to review or any other particular thing that you're struggling with. Let me know in the comments. And yeah, I mean, subscribe, do all the things, likes and <laughs> stuff that YouTubers ask you to do. And yeah, I hope you have a great day. I hope you hope you found this helpful. And with that said, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.